everybody, welcome back to Sticky Floor Friday, the internet movie show having a screening of The Room tonight. If you don't know what The Room is, it's apparently one of the worst movies of all time. Here's a look. Can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> Your favorite customer? You didn't even recognize him. Oh, man, I've been watching a lot of really bad movies lately. I don't know why, but I've just kind of been on that bad movie kick. Uh, I just saw Street Fighter, Legend of Chun-Li. And, I mean, truly abysmal film, save for two words, Chris Klein. Yeah, I love this job. Now, come on, fellas, who is this girl? You don't want to take it to this dance, detective. This guy walks through the raindrops. I mean, if Chris Klein knew he was in a terrible movie and he made the decision to act that way, mm, genius. He's misunderstood. All right, well, it's Valentine's Day, so let's talk romantic comedy. And the most blatant attempt at pandering I've seen in a while, Valentine's Day. You think a couple going to see a movie is going to look up and say, nah, I don't want to see that movie. No, they're going to say, oh, well, what's that? Ooh, Valentine's Day. Well, what's it about? It, what does it matter? It's about today. Yeah, well, who's in it? I don't know. I mean, if, do you like any actor that's ever acted in anything ever before? Oh yeah, I love them. Seriously, look at this cast list. Wow, ooh, Hector Elizondo. This thing is more bloated with actors than the Celebrity Fit Club. By the way, look at the poster. How pissed would you be if you were any of the people whose faces are covered by letters? Shirley MacLaine, fire your agent. And just in time for the Winter Olympics, we have Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief. Or as I like to call it, PJ and the O's, TLT. This is another attempt to start up a franchise similar to Harry Potter, uh, except this one's about a kid who's a descendant of Greek gods, and, uh, I don't know. It's got a good cast. It's directed by Chris Columbus, so you know it'll be boring. And, uh, I don't know. I think the biggest problem this movie has is with the title name. Percy Jackson. I just don't see kids on the playground yelling, I want to be Percy! You know? Couldn't you name it something a little more masculine, a little more, ugh, like, Magnus Lightning Dick Jackson. And finally, the classic movie monster, The Wolfman Returns, starring Benicio Del Toro. It's R-rated, it's gory, it's got a pretty top-notch cast, it's got weird finger sideways transformation thingy. Which always has me questioning, when this guy transforms back from the Wolfman, why isn't he just a pile of broken bones? Which would be awesome. Like a ten minute movie where he turns into the wolf and then he turns back and he's just ugh, dead. Anyway, that's not going to happen. Nothing new is going to be brought to this movie, but it is gory and bloody. And uh, if you're sick of vampires, at least the wolfman's a welcome change. Alright, let's recap. Pandering, Potter replacement, and probably better than vampires. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Just remember, all the restaurants this weekend, they're going to have those prefix menus. So you're only going to be able to choose from like two items and then they're going to push you out the door. My suggestion? Grocery store roses, Taco Bell, candy underpants. Boom. Done. You're welcome. You tracked him through 11 major cities on four continents and never come close, not once. I love this job. <laughs> <laughs>